Simple carbohydrates are basically sugars, and they come in one of two varieties, either monosaccharides or disaccharides. However, despite their type, all sugars affect blood glucose levels relatively quickly. Examples of monosaccharides, or single sugars, include glucose, fructose, and galactose. Double sugars, or disaccharides, include sucrose, lactose, and maltose. Because simple carbohydrates raise blood glucose levels so quickly, it is advised to stick to a low sugar diet. Furthermore, sugar is referred to as empty calories because it offers no nutritional value other than just energy. Complex carbohydrates are essentially starches. Starches are long chains of sugars which are held together with chemical bonds. It's important to note that when dietitians talk about eating complex carbohydrates, they're referring to eating whole grain foods or starchy vegetables. Refined carbohydrates, such as white rice, white bread or other products made with white flour, are also technically complex carbohydrates, but they have much less nutritional value and less fibre than whole grain foods or starchy vegetables. They can also affect your blood glucose levels almost as much as sugar can. Because of this, it's always better to opt for the whole grain versions. As carbohydrates have such a direct influence on blood glucose levels, many people want to know how many carbohydrates they should be eating. Unfortunately, there is no definitive answer for this, as different people's sugar levels are more sensitive to carbohydrates than others. The NHS advises that diabetics, just like the rest of the population, should eat between 255 and 300 grams of carbohydrate each day. However, many diabetics find it hard to adequately control their blood glucose levels with that amount of carbohydrate. One way to assess how your body deals with different amounts of carbohydrates is to take a blood glucose test before a meal and again at 2 and 4 hours afterwards. By altering the amount of carbohydrates that you eat, you can see just how much your body can comfortably deal with. Before making any significant changes to your diet, make sure that you discuss them with your GP first.